the biggest news of the week. Biggest news of the week, and the most uh, maybe maybe biggest news in of, of the, the year? NFL year so yeah, far for sure. Yeah, it's it's pretty big, and I think I think this is just the fucking pinhole, and it's about to tear that anal fissure right wide open here. <laughs> uh, John Gruden, <laughs> John Gruden sent a bunch. Well, I wouldn't say a bunch, but. I actually don't know too much about the story. Uh, he sent racist. <laughs> do I, to he sent honest. racist, homophobic. And this is what I'm mis- saying. The mis- headlines. Yeah, said. misogynistic. Racist, misogynistic. Head. Uh, head. I think most of it was actually homophobic slurs he, that yeah. he was using. Yeah. Um, derogatory this, slurs so in an email he, directed at uh, John Goodall. Yeah. Uh, no, Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell. <laughs> Who's John Goodall? <laughs> I think I was thinking John Goodall. John Goodall. John Goodall. It's like what? You were you thinking John Goodman or something like that? John. No. So Roger Goodell. So, so uh, you were thinking. Okay. First, before we get into it, uh, Peach. You know what? Peach. Crack them all. Crack Crack them if you got them. So Roger. Butthole. So yeah, what what what, what happened, Adam? Bring so us down. Emails back and forth. There was a couple of callouts about Roger Goodell, and also the the dude who is um, the main guy for the NFL Players Association. A lot of it stems around 2011 when he was complaining about uh, the fact that they were there was pressure to draft uh, a queer uh, player into the NFL. As well as just making certain, you know, mis, mis, misogynistic comments about women, uh, women ref refs, and then the fact that he called um, Roger Goodell an f bomb, not the fuck bomb, but the other f bomb. Yeah. Um, just like ju- just being very toxic masculinity and. Well, and the thing, the cr- I mean, it obviously whatever coach said it, it'd be terrible, but right now on the Raiders, the first openly. Uh, homosexual players on the Raiders. So imagine how that guy feels reading about his coach. Yeah. Email. He, so. Here's the only, um, the only thing I'll say, ever say about these things is, and I don't know how, how recent these were, but I don't think that really matters. 2011. Okay. 2011. So yep. That like, we can go ahead and, and say what, how, what, we don't really know what goes on in, in the actual locker room, how John Gruden maybe approached that player or not like he obviously came out as gay and if john gruden was a um a homophobe, homophobe as people are calling him then of course that's going to be probably add some i mean it, it'd be hard for you not to like shot hide, hide that i would think yeah. right anyways i don't know enough i've never been a homophobe well, so i don't know but what my, well, my, this is like you said this is going to blow up i guarantee this isn't the first person no. that this is going to happen to, or no. the last person that it's going no. to happen to. And, can and, you can and, you just can you see well, how how did the emails get leaked? Obviously, the emails got leaked. So one, this is this is also Julian Assange or whatever pre <laughs> pre uh, pre Me Too era, where people were you know where where people were a lot more cautious uh, after the Me Too era about what they're sending in emails. So this was back in the time where. Things like this, you just feel like you could send out a professional email, look, and call someone down like that. Like, so a lot of offsides. At that time, probably they never thought that if this email ever got released, that he would have to resign. But the fact is, it's twenty twenty one. We do live in a different, uh, a different time than what you know ten years ago. So, it regardless, uh, it I mean without getting into the whole cancel culture and you know, he, he, in a professional setting, he was absolutely that's right on the wrong side. I think that's what we got to look at is like, this is your spot. Now, all that aside, I don't, you, I, this is, would be a warning to everyone. And this is a, a statement that I'm not, um, that I never created myself. You never want to meet your heroes because they are real people. And, Let's be honest, there's some comments that I've shared that I share with friends to this day in chats that if anyone saw them out of context would be oh, yeah. like oh but it's because I'm because we I know that they know um yeah where I'm going and I'm not saying it's anything near 
what was yeah. said in these emails. I'm just saying, like, if anyone could re could read some of my messages out of context and not realize, like, I'm being, I'm playing a character yeah. in that in well, that. How message. else was I supposed to take that dick pic? That you I said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just feeling really stiff at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> no, but but like, where where I where so his but clue, that's a, his that, clue, that, that, that's the, a different the, setting the, than the, him sending it to totally. an NFL now, player association guy. Now, what, so who did he send it to? This is the thing I'm confused about. He did send it to the Art. What was the guy's name? Uh, Roger Goodell. Uh, no, no, no. Gr exchange emails with Alan. Um, no. He, oh right, right, right. He. I don't know. It doesn't really say who. It just says that he exchanged emails with Alan, and I guess Alan is an is an owner of the oh, Washington. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. Okay, so right here. So per the Times, Gruden and Alan, who also would include Ed he's Drossi, Alan's, who's a co, co. Alan's the owner of the Washington football team. Yeah, and then and then Ed Drosty is the co-founder of Hooters. Jim McAvey, yeah. McVay, an executive who has run the Outback oh. Bowl, and Nick Reeder, the founder of the okay. PDQ restaurants Just, and the emails. It's stupid of all of them to to have this, but you're right. They didn't know what the hell the we didn't know that I didn't know that anything I put in Twitter in twenty eleven was gonna come back and bite me. And I, I good thing I never used it. But when you use the spit the the no words, the N word, the F word in the email, there's pretty much no coming back from that. Where yeah. where I don't think it's fair is to and and I don't know the whole context but there's another line here where it's just like clueless anti-football pussy and they're equating the term pussy to the same as that the f word and the n word and i don't that's where i kind of draw a line where it's like hey yeah. some of this stuff you have to have a reasonable head where it's like maybe you don't think men should speak like that or or you think that's not you but the person might think that's toxic masculinity but newsflash like this is the reality of these scenarios. Yeah. Even the people who you think are acting the most um, progressive, just fucking like, you know, I'm not, I won't get political at all, but look back at some politicians 10 years ago and find out where they, that are Democrats today or Republican. Well, Republicans doesn't matter, but Democrats today and look how they voted on gay rights in 2010, 2013. You'll see that they, a lot of them, were not pro gay rights, and right. now they are. So, if we're going to keep looking back ten years and well, judging people on the on these things, it's just very hard to to allow people to progress themselves. And and I, you know what? This is a completely isolated incident, I guess, from right. that because, as Anth you mentioned earlier, this is, I think, the tip of the iceberg. Yep. And uh, I wonder what else is going to fall out from. Did this. they say? Did they say who leaked it? No, that's a good question. Well, I, you you look at it while well, I'm about to say I'll say yeah. this while you're looking at it. So the 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 fact of the matter is the the same. Whoa, that was Anth. He's just getting a pizza. Jeez, I got I had a weird shift in my audio there for a second. Um, the, I don't think it's known. Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. they. I mean, it's probably it was a leak to the uh, Times, so it's an anonymous source. So it's someone. Maybe that was at the time saved that stuff just to get back at John Gruden. We don't. The other thing is we don't know how he is in the locker room. We don't know how we we don't know who you scorn. Like we, there's a lot of scenarios that we don't know about the situation. Maybe at one point Gruden's gonna be able to come back and he's gonna be able to explain it all. But at the end of the day, he's a product of the environment he grew up in, and I don't mean like his home life. I just mean like sports in general. So mm -hmm. for like the last X amount of years. It's locker room talk. That's how people, and I'm not saying it's right, but that's yeah, just how. That's just what it is. You're, you're growing up in that environment. You're talking to other guys. It's that locker room chat. It's those comments that uh, saying the word pussy. And like, so it, again, not, not being right. Do, does he need to resign? Well, yeah, he probably shouldn't be with yeah. this amount of heat and, and in, the, in today's climate. You're, you're just you a distraction. You're just a distraction. So it's probably the best move for him to, to resign. Um, and, and maybe he comes back for a three-peat in a few years to be the coach of the Raiders. But at the end of the day, I don't well, I don't agree with cancel culture just automatically calling somebody out and then it ending. And like just without even like looking at the situation or hearing both sides, I, I think it's a little too drastic. Obviously, the counter to that is that for so many years, you don't hear the victim's voice and, 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 you know, white males are getting away with so much stuff. So I, I totally understand it. I just think that 
obviously a situation like this it is going to continue to change how the nfl is